Hello, hello. So welcome, welcome, welcome to those of you that don't know me. I'm Barbie Jimenez, former early childhood educator and certified conscious parent coach and mom to two teenagers. And so today I am here to share with you how to help your child regulate. So recently I had a client tell me, you know, I'm, I try to help my child regulate and I try to get him to sit down and breathe with me and tell me, a, you know, what he's feeling so that I can support him. But all he does is run around the house in circles. And so I said, well, it seems to me like he's already taking it upon himself to regulate himself. Many times we have this agenda or this um, mindset or story of what regulating looks like. And of course, it's wonderful to be able to breathe and sit and calm your body and have various different tools in your tool belt in your tool belt to help you and to help your child regulate yet when we have a prescribed agenda that then we are trying to put onto our child we, we end up getting into this clash and it doesn't really help us regulate and it doesn't help us help them regulate. Because for example, this particular mom was sitting there, hi guys, <laughs> was sitting there thinking to herself, hmm, how am I going to get this child to regulate? How am I going to get my son to stop running around the house so he could calm down and sit down and process this with me and her intention was beautiful but when we come with that agenda and that mindset and we're trying to fix it and change what's already happening organically in front of us we get anxious and it trips us up and then we can't really regulate ourselves because we're trying to make something else happen and so what I explained to this mom whose child was running around the house was what I recommend is that you sit and focus on calming yourself and observing that your child is regulating himself by running. He's moving his body. He's trying to get the energy out. So as long as he is safe and everyone else in the home is safe, he's not throwing things, he's not um, tripping on things, right? Then it's just a matter of sitting, calming yourself and observing. And then later, after the child has regulated, and after you're regulated, you could say to your child, hey, I noticed earlier you were running around the house. I'm thinking you might have been having some strong feelings come up. Do you know what those were? And then you start to make those connections for your child to help them see, huh, when I feel angry, I run. Or when I feel sad, I run. I'm not sure what this child was feeling in that moment, right? We can observe and we can enter a conversation with curiosity. And therefore, we can get out of our own way and our own mind and thoughts and stories that we're creating about what regulation has to look like. We can accept the child in front of us and the present moment and attune to that. And just the, the fact of the mom sitting in that space and calming her energy and herself and regulating herself will, will already support the child. And then have those conversations to help the child 
notice. Remember, self-regulating and helping a child regulate could look like activity, could look like jumping on a trampoline, could look like stomping on the floor, could look like hitting a pillow, right? The goal here is to just give our children tools on how they can process what they're feeling in a safe way so it doesn't come out as hitting a sibling or hitting us, right? Those are boundaries we can set, but say, hey, here's something you can do. Here's something you can hit to help you process your anger or your frustration, right? So many, many times it starts with the thoughts and the stories that are happening here. And what are we thinking? Is it helpful? in this situation or is it stopping us from being able to regulate ourselves and then connect, truly connect with the child in front of us. So if you enjoy short little tips and tricks and uh, ways of creating more connection and consciousness in your parenting journey, then I encourage you to follow me and you can go to my website, which is my name, B-A-R-B-Y, Jimenez, J-I-M-E-N-E-Z. And you can follow me there. You can subscribe to my email list. And you can, I'm also excited to um, let everybody know that my mom's community is opening its doors again. So if you're interested in joining this amazing group of moms, we get together two, two Wednesday evenings at 8.30 Eastern Time. So it's every other Wednesday. So it's twice a month. And we have a live coaching call where I hold space. And everybody gets to learn from each other. Everybody gets to feel seen and heard without any judgment and then we also go into deep discussions around conscious parenting and um, we read books right now we're reading the awakened family together and discussing that and no topic is ever off the table it's an open forum for conversation for listening to each other with no judgment for just feeling heard seen and connected heart to heart because so often we give so much as parents and we forget to give to ourselves first and we cannot give to anyone else from an empty cup so that is what we do in my mom's community it's a very economical $25 a month and I invite you to check it out on my website. That's barbiejimenez.com backslash living connected. And join us. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for listening. And until next time, bye-bye.